Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. Police, they win a series of raids and New Year seized several firearms and launched man hunts for several of the criminals who fled leaving behind the weapons. In the St. Andrew North Police recovered one 9mm pistol, two magazines and 26 9mm rounds of ammunition on Fagan Avenue Grand Spen, Kingston 8 and Monday, January 1. Reports from the Constant Spring Police are that about 1.50 a.m. Laman were on patrol in the area when a group of persons were seen standing along the roadway. Upon the approach of the police, the crowd disappeared. A search was conducted of the area and the firearm and ammunition recover. Investigation continued. In another raid, a 38 Smith and Western revolver was recovered by lawmen assigned to the St. Andrews South Central Police Division during an intelligence-led operation along Godpile Road in Kingston 5 on Monday, January 1. Reports from the Crossroad Police are that about 6.05 a.m., Laman acting on information, went to the gully in the area where they found the weapon in a brown bag. The weapon was sent to the, labor the, we the forensic laboratory. For processing, no one ar was arrested in connection with the Caesar. In a separate operation, Laman assigned to the Maypen Operation Support Team seized a firearm and one cartridge during an intelligence-led operation in Oxpen, Rosewell, Sandy Bay, Clarendon, and Monday, January 1. Reports are that, that about 12.20 p.m., Laman had an information and carried out a search of an unused Falkub and a 12-gauge shotgun and one cartridge was recovered. No arrest has made. Investigation continue. 12 9mm cartridge were seized from a team along Bedward Crescent, Augustine, St. Andrew and Monday. Reports from the Alpha Tree Police are that about 1.50 a.m. Laman were on patrol in the area when the team was seen among a group of men coming from an event. They were accosted and searched and the ammunition was removed from his jacket pocket. He was taken into custody pending further investigation. The Manchester Police made his first firearm seizure. For the new year, following a confrontation with a man who was on bail for a murder committed in 2022, a police source told the news that a Glock 17 pistol was seized in Comfort District, south of Mandeville, about 1 a.m. with 17 rounds. The seizure following a series of events on New Year Eves involving the 20 years old man who was on bail for a murder about 5 p.m. on New Year Eves. Our unit was passing through comfort, coming from Broadleaf, when a car drove up and they observed a man, alighting from the vehicle and pointed a gun at another man. The source said, the man shouted for the police, and the man with the gun pointed the weapon at the police. The police took evasive action and opened gunfire. The gunman was shot but fled the scene, with the firearm at the source. Police said the driver of the car also fled the scene on foot. The alleged gunman eventually turned up at hospital with a gunshot wound. He was treated and discharged into police custody. Hours later, the police returned to comfort and found the Glock 17 pistol, which they suspect the alleged gunman pointed at them. St. Elizabeth businessman Robert Russell, who is implicated in a deadly love triangle incident following the late night shooting death of a man who visited his child mother. After they retired to bed, was on Friday granted $1.5 million bail. Russell, a 45 years old resident of Olive Park, Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth, appeared in the St. Elizabeth Parish Court to answer to a murder charge in relation to the shooting death of 35 years old Orlando Blake. Blake is said to be the boyfriend of Russell's child mother as part of his bail condition. The businessman is to surrender its travel documents and a stop order has been placed at all ports of entry and exit. He was also ordered by presided parish judge Alwyn Simit to reside outside of the parish of St. Elizabeth while on bail. Meanwhile, a post-mortem result is among the documents that are outstanding on the case file. The case is the next mention on November 17. Reports are that, that about 10.20 p.m. on September 30, Russell visited a woman with whom he shared a child and they retired to bed. 
at a house in Fagan Town, burnt ground in the parish. Sometime after in the early morning of October 1, Blake reportedly went to the house to visit the woman who has been identified as his, as his girlfriend. Blake reportedly entered the house and was shot by Russell who was armed with his license firearm. The police were summoned and Blake was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Russell was immediately taken into custody. His firearm was seized and he was subsequently charged with offence relative to the incident. Two St. Catherine men were arrested and charged with bridges of the firearm act and offences against the person's act. After they reported the attack and shot a male who was visiting his girlfriend in Central Village, St. Catherine. The attack took place on Friday, October 6. And based on the police report, the alleged shooters were apprehended. The following day, they were then charged on Friday, October 13. They are 29 years old, Kevin Morgan, a farmer and 23 years old, merchandiser, Denardo James, both of First Avenue in the parish, were charged with possession of a prohibited weapon, an unauthorized possession of ammunition, and wounded with intent. Reports from the Central Village are that at about 11.15 p.m., a man visited a woman in the community and was posed upon by a group of gunmen who opened fire at him. He received gunshot wounds to his upper body, lost control of the motor vehicle, and crashed into a wall. The man then managed to run from his vehicle and alerted the police. On their arrival, the man was transported to hospital where he was treated. Following an investigation, Morgan and James was arrested and taken into custody. The following day, James was charged after a question and answer session with his attorney and Morgan was charged on Friday, October 13. Their court dates are being arranged.